Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how to make a drawing like this. This is, I think, a, either a, um, like a, a sheer section or it's um, a section where the camera has been tilted up and put into a parallel projection so that you can see what's behind the section cut. Um, there's no perspective effect going on, no parallax. Um, all of the lines which are going in the same uh, axis as the, as the camera um, camera line are not converging, I don't believe. So I'll show you how to do that in Rhino. This is not a, a, an image which your brain or which you would be able to see in real life because it doesn't have the perspective element. In Rhino, this is the same model which I've used for previous videos, but in Rhino you can see um, for this parallel section viewpoint, uh, I've a viewport I've created that as a view and all, there's there's no um, what do you call it perspective effect. So if I press perspective here, you can see how there's that. I can see the tops of here and the bottoms of here. Go back to parallel. Oh, well, I have to do the name view again so that the uh, focus plane is the same as the clipping plane. So the way to do this, there's two ways. If I take this point, the rear of the camera point. Um, that's the. This is the camera for the parallel section um, view, view uh, saved view. If I take that and move that up, you can see what's happening over here. Now if, no, no, I'm going to have to do that again. If I take this camera point and move it up, you can see what's happening. It's the same principle as what's going on here, except I'm not sure because the as I move this camera point up and we're looking more and more down on the model, you can see that the vertical lines are being compressed in their length. So let's just take this point. No, I'm going to have to dolly out here. Yep, that will work. If I move this up again, you can see how the, the vertical lines are becoming shorter. Horizontal lines don't change the vertical lines are becoming shorter. So let's go back and put it to parallel again. To prevent that from happening, I'm going to select these objects. SR, oh, uh, cell color. Selects all the objects with, with which have the same color as the previously selected objects. And now I'm going to do the shear command. Type in shear. And from the right viewpoint, I'm going to start at the Point of it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to start at the point of the the clipping plane. Hold Shift, press the Tab to constrain to the or to the orth, ortho, and then go to the right viewport. That's critical. Go to the end of the model, click, and now it's asking me what angle do I want to constrain to. Now, if you have a look in the parallel section viewport at the top right of the screen, you'll see what's happening. the The model is being sheared. So it's, it's being stretched uh, in the vertical dimension, but it's not uh, changing its, its, its x, y val um, scale. So if I go here, the, the, the lines at the clipping plane on the top right viewpoint are remaining the same size all the time. And that's really cool. So if I do it about there, I could also do it to um, 45 degrees. So let's do that again. Shear. Start at the clipping plane, hold shift, press tab to constrain to that angle. Go to the end of the model in the right viewport, go up, press shift, that's 45 degrees. And now we've got a military projection, top right. This is a military projection camera view. And you'll note that, I dolly out so I can see the whole model. You'll note that um, no, both the horizontal and vertical cuts um, to these to the at the clipping plane are to scale and I believe that's how um, this has been achieved although it looks less than 45 degrees it's not a military projection so I'm going to quickly do the section cut so let's select these objects again um, cell color and then I'll do the section command and I will do from the start 
of the clipping plane, tab, end of clipping plane, all the way across, click, press enter, and that's that part done. Move that across. And now from the parallel, uh, let's just quickly rotate that 90, uh, 90 degrees and bring it vertically to the ground. So move um, and then choose vertical. I know there's a new command for this, but click that and press zero comma, zero comma, zero. And now that's going to the ground. Um, and now from this viewpoint, uh, viewport, I'm going to select the objects and then make 2D. Press OK. And from the top view, I'll take these clipping plane, clip, uh, sorry, sections. I'm going to move them again. What's going on here? Oh, let's try move from here all the way over to here. Perfect. Yep. Okay, so from the top viewpoint, take this, export, do this, two five, scale one to one hundred, press OK. Uh, desktop, new folder, zero five. Zoom out, get to the get to the lines. Control Shift One is to bring the artboard to the selected objects, make them all black. Select these layers, which are the section cuts. Just going to make a quick new layer for this. Put them in. Select those objects, invert them to black. So that's the section cut, and the rest plane into sections. I'll just do this. Oops. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to change that to 0 0.2 millimeters thickness. Control H. There you go. That's how to make a scaled drawing military projection uh, section where you're looking down. Same principle as this, not this. Hope that was helpful. Cheers, mate. Or cheers, people.